What's the difference uh, between streamlined courses and uh, regular Chinese courses? Um, I think in the beginning they said the streamline is obvious is to make it faster. <laughs> so um, it turned out to be as uh, it just happened this way. And when I start teaching here, it's already established. So most uh, students taking um, uh, streamline their heritage learners. You don't have to be a heritage learners at all, as long as your oral proficiency uh, reach a certain level. So that means we don't start a class with you know how to pronounce the words because we assume you have basic conversation skills. Uh, so versus um, regular class, you started with all the language courses. You start with the pronunciation. You start with the um, the alphabet that we call the P, how to pronounce words, and then you introduce everything just like from the start. So for streamlined uh, courses, we assume you have the um, oral skills already at a certain level. So uh, that's make it very different. And uh, I think we're very fortunate to have this program here because we got enough student group to attend this course. So my goal for this course is literacy building. And this is the main components. And the second thing is to help them to um, um, elevate their speaking uh, proficiency. So I assume by ACTFL standard, when they exit this course, they could at least reach the intermediate high to advanced low level in terms of uh, speaking. So um, they came in there usually at intermediate low, which is uh, even you think intermediate low, intermediate high is not much, but when you try to push it to that direction, it's harder and harder because they get withdrawn into their own little world. They refuse to use new vocabulary. Um, they will just speak in their comfort zone. So you need to push them. It's really hard. So my, that's my goal to aim at the, this course. And the literacy, as I said it, uh, some of them took Chinese uh, class when they were, you know, elementary school. Some even in, in high uh, high school. A lot of the um, these kids they took so-called uh, uh, Sunday school once a week. So um, so some of them did have some um, foundation to have Chinese characters, but some really don't. So how do I start? I make sure everybody learns same amount of characters in the beginning the first month, we call it just pure memorization. It's nothing, nothing tricky. It just, I, I hate to say, there's just the effort you need to memorize characters because that's how you learn to read. There's no way, other shortcut, let's put it this way. It's because Chinese characters is not spelling. It's, a, it's like a picture. You have to memorize it. But there are rules in there. so. So after four weeks, uh, people really struggle for those who never done it before. And because I'm basically every class, I force them three, three, uh, three hours a week, every, every class we have quiz dictation. So before the class, they have to memorize 50 characters at least. But as I said, we're unique, we're fortunate, they're MIT students, they're, they're so used to hardworking. They complained, but they did it anyway. <laughs> so after one month, they everybody at least have 250 characters. Some do have more because they learned this before. But those who never attend Chinese schools, now they have 250 characters. So they can read now because they know these characters individually. They put it in a sentence, now they can read a short paragraph. So the moment they get to read, the text, they're just like so excited. I can't read. So um, then it's writing part. So that's very different from regular because regular we have to focus so much on four skills together because you, for true beginners, if you ask them to memorize characters at the same time, how to pronounce and speak is just too much. So um, for heritage learner, for streamline class, we can do it all together. So that's a huge difference. And as I said, uh, um, we're unique. 
uh, we are able to do that. And I don't think my model <laughs> is good for every university, every high school, because it all depends on your audience, your student group. I have uh, teachers from different universities that they can't have just heritage learner or streamlined classes. They have to mix them up, which is make the teaching very difficult because you, some are here, some are here. How do you do make the balance? So I said I'm fortunate. You know, I can't really give advice for those teachers who are in the middle and because it's totally different environment.